Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're going to try out how well the 3855 in this Model 94 Winchester will buck through the brush. We're going to shoot it through some brush. And we're going to see how well it does and we're going to do try to do five bullets into a about an 8 inch circle. And then if we can get five bullets through that brush into an 8 inch circle, we're going to consider this a brush gun. So stay tuned. All right, what we're doing now is we're gonna shoot through all these little bushes to see how well that 3855 penetrates brush, how well it bucks the brush. And I think if it gets any of them bullets in this circle here, um, that's easily uh, deer's vital area. If it gets them within that circle, I'm gonna call it good. This is assuming, you know how deer are, they're gonna run and stand behind the bush when you're up there. So will that bullet come through the brush and still impact the deer in its vital area? So this is checking this 3855, see well, how well it will buck the brush. And what I did is I drilled holes in here so as we shoot these off, we'll just stick more in there and we can try different calibers and check this out. So y'all stay tuned. All right, we're shooting these 255 grain uh, lead bullets. And we're going to try to get lined up here and take a shot. Get close to that orange dot. See where it went. Okay, not sure what all trimmed off. But uh as you can see it's in the orange dot. It doesn't really look like it hit a lot of this. It clipped this one here off. And uh so we're gonna set one back up, get back and shoot it again. All right, gonna try it again. Looks like we hit a little bit more brush that time. Okay, we managed to clip this one here off. and clip this one off which is pretty big so it was right there clip this little golden rod off clip this here oak off and this water oak here clipped it off pretty good let's see clip this one here off so that's uh quite a bit of stuff we we nicked that so I mean, I feel like that that busted quite a bit of stuff. And right here, it hit almost dead center. Now the hole's a little bit bigger. That mushroomed out some, I guess. So let's set it back up and try it again. Okay, let's go ahead and take another shot. Trying to see about where that orange dot is so I can aim pretty close. It's right through there. Hopefully I hit pretty close to it. Looks like we cleared off almost all the brush this time. So, I mean, starting from here, we got one. We actually cut off one limb of that. 
So that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty good size limbs. That just about pulled that one out. It hit a little bit over to the side, and it looked like it might be, it might be tumbling, but it's still within the vital area, and it probably would have killed it just fine. So let's set back up and try it one more again. Okay. I want to shoot as close to the bullseye as I can. Right through there. I think I shot a little bit low, so this one might not count. Nope. I was thinking I hit right here, but I didn't because I hit right across there. So this one sheared that one off, tripped over that one, and went right through there. So it didn't clear off as many uh, bushes. So let's set back up. I may trim some of these off a little bit. And set this back up. Throw that one away. Put another one up here. And uh get back started. This is gonna be the last one out of these five shots. So hopefully it'll stay on target. And then we can uh See whether this is going to be a brush gun. Okay, so right through. Well, as you can see, they're actually grouping pretty good going through here. We only got that one that might have tumbled. Let's see how many we cut off with that one. Okay, we sheared off. Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We sheared off seven uh, bushes, little limbs and stuff. Still hit. Look. All of these, all of these right here are within just over an inch. So that's, I don't see how you could not think it was a good brush gun. I mean, they're almost hitting there. This is the only flyer and it's probably only about two inches out. This is a half. So in my opinion on brush hunting, I'm not gonna shoot a deer through brush if the brush is close to me and that bullet has to travel 50 yards to get to the deer. But if the deer runs and stands behind a bush, I want to be able to shoot to that bush and still get the deer. And most of the time, it doesn't amount to any more than just some little sticks because deer can hide behind sticks and you can't see them. So I think this is a good uh, brush gun. Uh, Y'all stay tuned to this channel because we're going to try the 3030, the 32 Special. This, we're going to try a variety of guns with this particular setup. We're going to make this sort of the standard five shots. Got to stay within that through the brush.